Craig, you know, first again, your first first half goal here and your first league victory, and nice to do it relatively comfortably in the end. Yeah, I thought we played really well first half. Um, I really did. I think it's probably as good as we've played for a good few weeks. Um, we looked threatening going forward, defended really well, and uh, I was disappointed to only going in one nil up. To be honest, you nearly were one nil up. It looked like you were going to run out of time again, but Joe Leesley finishing off a nice little deft header. Yeah, I thought we had him pinned in for most of half, and we created numerous chances and. We just need to be more clinical, simple as that, um, through a bit of bad luck, maybe not, not finishing, but we found a way, um, I'm really pleased with Joe, it's been excellent the last few weeks, and uh, nice to go in one nil. Tom Platt doesn't get many, but that was a nice nerve settler at the start of the second half. Yeah, we, we, we've tried to talk about getting people further up the field in the box and, and taking shots, um, and he's done exactly that today, found himself up there, and good shot, and, and nice to get that second goal that sort of secured the win for us. And he played a slightly different role today in a 4-4-2, was that with the opposition in mind? Not really, I just felt that we, we just needed to get a bit more support up there to Jordan Burroughs, he's been excellent, um, but I just didn't think we were doing things right um, with a 4-3-3, um, and it's worked today, I thought Fraser were brilliant up there, um, a real live wire, and uh, both as winger, wingers in Joe and Terry in particular, I thought were excellent. Fraser just missing a goal for his efforts really? <laughs> yeah, I said that to him at half time, um, I think if he gets a goal he'll go on a good run, just that bit of confidence, um, but it'll come. He's a good player, still learning, um, still a young lad, So, uh, but really happy where he's at at the minute. You stroke of luck arrived really when they crashed the penalty against the bar. You would have still been in the lead, but it, it would have become nervier for the last 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, um, I was disappointed obviously to concede the penalty. It didn't look a penalty, but um, obviously a bit against the run of play again. Um, I, I felt that we were worthy of a clean sheet, but um, yeah, a bit of luck and, and maybe it's going our way a little bit now. Luke Shields came off, which he never seems to do. Is that a concern? Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how he is. He's obviously tweaked his knee after the challenge and uh, just didn't feel right at half-time. So we've got a, a really good player, Scott Garn, who come on and, and did well as well. And is that a, a worry moving forward, particularly with a quick-fire game on, on Monday? Not really. I think it's um, this time of season. I think every team in, in, in this league will have problems uh, with the recovery and losing players through suspension injury and you've just got to take it. And This is why we've got the squad that we have and every player now is getting a chance to come and play and they've got to deliver. And get through Monday presumably because then you could have certainly two or three back for, for next weekend against Alfreton. Yeah, I think that was the idea really. I, 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 up and down whether to bring somebody in, but I think we've got a big squad. Um, the injuries are in the short term, and the suspensions are up next week, so fingers crossed we can have a nice, healthy squad next Saturday. Still only 10 games in, but a real noticeable shift today with the table that you're up to sixth. It's You've always been in contention, but when people look at it now, they'll actually think, oh, they're a Boston, they're, they're right in the mix now. Yeah, I've not really sort of seen the results, but um, obviously the results will be up and down all season. I, I really think that. So um, we've just got to look at his own sort of game and what we can do in effect. And uh, really pleased to get the win today. I think we're five unbeaten now, so we've got to try and make that six unbeaten on Monday. Farsley, always tough place to go. Um, expecting the same again, presumably. Yeah, very good team. Uh, managed really well. Uh, got some good players for this level of football and uh, particularly strong on, on their own sort of patch. So uh, another challenge, another difficult game, but just looking forward to getting another game in.